Hello. It's been snowing, clouds and ice for days. I can't get any solar testing done. So I thought I'd go over a, a simple little FET tester I have to see if what you got on eBay for cheap is actually what you ordered. I just got a bunch of FETs in the other day and I'm uh, just getting around to testing them. This is my little tester here. It's the same as you see in any uh, technical book. You feed in a gate voltage here uh, and use a constant current source and then you just measure the voltage and from the voltage you can divide by the amps and it will give you the resistance. This is a uh, 20N50 and it's rated at 0.27 ohms on resistance at 10 volts and uh, we're testing it at just 5 amps and as you can see over here if we look at 5 amps times 5 amps power is I squared R uh, this thing is dissipating almost 6.5 watts uh, way below what that rating is and it starts to get warm in any type of uh, when you're using a FET you have a die and then you have the uh, mounting tab and you generally have an insulator and then you'll have the heat sink all of those have thermal resistances so uh, even if your your uh, heat sink is cool the die can still be kind of hot so this little tester here I have uh, two sockets and one will fit a 20247 this will fit 20220. So I've stuck the 220 in here and uh, we press the little button and we see it's a tenth of a volt at 5 amps. Now that works out to about 0.02 ohms or 20 milliohms. This is a lower voltage higher current FET. Uh, generally you want to use a FET as low a voltage as possible because you'll get a lower on resistance and higher current. Just pull this out a second. Uh, this top connector is just a uh, standard power connector for a hard drive. The connector below is a standard, I think it was some, uh, out of a PC or something. Two of the pins are close enough to fit and what I do is I cut the third pin off and uh, hot melt glued it together to the right spacing and so it's a good little tester right now. Uh, if you want you can add a pot to where this 10k pull down resistor is and you can actually see when the turn on currents happen. It'll happen at a when they say that uh, turns on at 0.4 volts that's only about 1 milliamp so be aware you have to put a lot of gate drive on to get these low resistances that they quote you. So right now we're going to test this one and this is uh, 1.08 but if you watch this you'll see it continuing to climb as that die starts to heat up. Remember that's only six and a half watts. The power supply is set to 6 volts, that's all we need. And you can see it's 5 amps. So we can easily do the calculations. Uh, if you notice, if you want to get really accurate measurements, you use clip read leads right on the FED itself because all these sockets have a lot of resistance. And when they normally test these things, they do it with just a 10 volt pulse that's really short and a very low duty cycle so it doesn't heat up. Uh, specification sheets don't lie but you really have to search through them to find out what you really have. Uh, if you don't have a constant current power supply uh, you could go with a headlight or for a car or any big bulb something that draws about 3 to 5 amps. You could use a 3 to 4 ohm resistor and then you could use a meter you know, two meters at, at the same time, one to measure the amps, and one to measure the, measure the volts. You can do the calculation. So it's fairly simple, but it's nice to have a little board set up 
uh, a 9 volt battery would probably work just about as good as a 10 volt source so until I get some sun that's it hope you enjoyed it